Yes, Mr. Wonderful is in the building once again for another Stinker Profiles. T looks good, the lighting's good, got you behind the camera, but most importantly, I got you beautiful people out there watching this, and I appreciate you, each and every one of you. But before we get into all that, let's go and roll with it. Hey everybody, once again, welcome to the Sneaker Factory for another episode of Floyd's uh, Sneaker Profiles. I kind of got lost there, um, but I had to reel myself back in. But Mr. Wonderful himself is definitely in the building to show you guys what you guys see on that thumbnail. So unfortunately, I had to move that sneaker profiles up, the Kobe 5s, because I actually sold one. Um, this live actually took place back in January of this year. I want to say January 20th. So if you guys haven't seen that, go back and go check that out. I'd really appreciate the view. Um, but I definitely wanted to bring these out um, as soon as possible because, like I said, when you guys are actually watching this, that pair is long and gone. Um, it's not this pair that you see in the thumbnail, but when we get to that pair, I'll definitely let you know the story of you know why it was sold and how much it was sold. Um, but definitely a, a great, great story to go along with that great pair of shoes. So I wanted to bump these up just to get make sure I got made a sneaker profile for that shoe, and then also just to you know give you guys a little bit of update regarding. Uh, what happened or what went on with that shoe so as you see in the thumbnail you guys you guys see it it's no surprise this isn't a surprise on what you're about to see um, but just a great shoe um, the Kobe 5s are one of my favorites I want to say the Kobe 6 is actually my favorite uh, Kobe brand or a signature shoe um, but this the, the 5 comes right behind that one I definitely love the 5s I do have a lot of 5s in the collection um, as you'll see in in the next five videos um, but yeah definitely wanted to share this with you share share my collection with you and hopefully you guys enjoy them but definitely drop a comment down below let me know how you feel about the Kobe fives let me know if if that's you know your number one or do you or is that six or is there any other Kobe's that you feel that are your um, as far as on on top of your list so definitely let me know but really quick, fit check. Decided to go with the the per, uh, the pink Obey T. Uh, nothing crazy, but very simple. I like this color though. Um, I got some some beige. I want to say um, Obey shorts. So they're Obey right there. So basically Obeyed out today, um, or for these next five videos that you'll see. Uh, but definitely wanted to uh, dress relax because it's definitely a grind. In case you guys are not aware, I definitely drop make five videos in one day, so you will be seeing this app's outfit five more times. So just bear with me, but you'll definitely see five different pairs of shoes. So and that's why you're here. One to see Mr. Wonderful present you with his uh, Kobe fives in his collection from the sneaker factory, as you can see. Um, so far, the I got the new furniture in. Furniture is not cheap. Let me tell you, so I'm um, getting it, slowly getting the sneaker factory in um, in how I want it to be. Um, still missing some some posters. I want to hang up some more. Probably move that Scarface a little bit more that way just so it can get a, a nice feel and I can make sure I get all those posters fitted in, in the, on my walls. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, segment. Sneaker profiles number 51. We are at 51 in the in the catalog as far as sneaker profiles go uh, But this is actually number one when it comes to the Kobe fives back from that live. So I actually pulled five um, Back then it was five to one Obviously the last video you'll, you'll see when it comes to the Kobe fives. That is my favorite Kobe five in my collection um, but this needless to say does not come I mean this one is could be anybody's number one. So um, my number one may not be your number one when I show you all five. So, but let's take a look at this nice black Kobe box, the Kobe imprint right there, Kobe signature right there. And then you have it. It's just a, a simple standard black box, nothing crazy, but let's take a look just in case. There you go. Kobe five pro tro 10 and a half right there because you know your boy always rocks the 10 and a half let me know how you feel about the pro tros let me know if you're happy about them bringing them back 
drop comments down below hit that reminder button hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already what the hell are you doing show your boy some love the fellas the ladies i definitely appreciate each and every one of you that come in and that support the channel that means a ton to me moving forward though the kobe 5 right here so here we go kobe 5 pro tro beautiful shoe as you guys can see in case you guys are not aware the kobe 5 was originally released in the year of 2009 and 2010 so that's when the first kobe 5s came out obviously this is not you know the original kobe 5 right here this is a pro tro basically uh nike just you know basically retro the kobe's uh kobe fives in this case and they just added a little bit more better technologies maybe some little bit more cushioning um so that's pretty much what's going on with this shoe but as you can see this shoe is a beautiful shoe you got those black and white hits some little red and gold hits as you can see and i'll go more into depth when it comes to this shoe but really quick a you know a little back round check on these these were actually designed by eric avar and matt nurse um, some up and coming uh, nike designers once again coming in that low top they feature that lower profile than their pro, pro, uh, pro de predecessor heat bound overlays fly wire and that perforated tongue and then you do you do got that zoom air cushioning in the heel and the forefoot and it's sculpted to the heel counter so there's a little bit of backstory regarding the original Kobe 5. So that's pretty much what it was going on back then and it's currently going on now. So um, based on what I'm looking at, when I, I have one pair of the original Kobe 5s, they don't go very too far from, you know, from their retro. Um, the retro is very, very similar to, you know, the original, which is an amazing thing just with some better technology. But when it comes to this one, this specific pair, this is also known as the Kobe 5 Pro Tro, but this is the alternative Bruce Lee colorway. So, and then you could see the little Bruce Lee marks. In case you guys are not familiar with this, um, I want to definitely, sh you know, let the people know that are, you know, still new to the sneaker game or not, maybe not big Kobe, uh, Kobe 5 fans or Kobe shoe fans at all. But I just definitely wanted to, you know, give a little bit of backstory in case you're not aware of that. So, as you can see, it's dressed in that white, black, comet red color scheme. The Kobe 5 Pro Tro features a white and black upper with that iconic scratch marks on the forefoot as a nod to Lee's, Bruce Lee's battle wounds from the film Enter the Dragon. Other details including that red outlining, that swoosh around the swooshes and then that those yellow accents in the rear and that silver kobe logos on the tongue so let's take a closer look this shoe was actually released back on i don't know why i can't get it focused um back on november 24th on the sneakers app and it was for 180 dollars so there you go see those scratch marks right there cool touch got some designs right there as you can see beautiful that black fly wire you got that red hit around the swoosh a little bit too bright but you see that kobe signature there you go classic beautiful kobe fives and then you got that that shank plate that carbon fiber right there carbon fiber dead stock pair right here haven't had a chance to wear it so i bought this actually on stock x take a look at the insole there you go beautiful shoe beautiful shoe i love it very happy to have this in the collection i was very happy when i actually pulled the trigger um you know they're i don't know what the current market is on this i'm, I'm sure they're high i just don't know um the pair that i am missing oh really quick and then you got that chrome kobe sign right there so the current pair that i am missing is the the original the the yellow pair, yellow and back pair i do need those they're just a little bit too high for me to pay for a kobe i feel like when it comes to you know paying that amount i always feel like i can justify buying another shoe instead of paying that you know the high on on those ones 
I do and I will get them eventually, but it's going to take a little bit of time. They have to go down a little bit where it makes sense to me to pull the trigger, but it's definitely a shoe that I definitely want to add to the Sneaker Factory collection. But this is my favorite, my favorite pair. This is why I have this one in, in the collection is because I like this one a lot more than that black and yellow one. I feel that this black and white pair is a little bit, you can wear it a little bit um, more better when it comes to clothes. You know, back like on that live that I that I released back in January of 20th, I made a really co a comment that unfortunately this is a summer shoe um, for myself. I can't wear jeans with this shoe. I just don't feel like it looks right on me. Um, so this is definitely a summer shoe um, with shorts. Um, so it's one of those shoes that it's just when the weather's nice, when I'm able to wear shorts, this is the shoe that I will definitely try to wear. Um, I feel like that goes with a lot of the Kobe shoes that I do have in my collection. They're all low tops, which is I'm a big fan of. I love low tops. That's what drew me originally to Kobe's is that they're low, they're comfortable. I'm not the biggest Kobe fan, um, but I do respect the guy and I do respect his, his game as of now since um, he no longer plays and unfortunately he's no longer with us. Um, but definitely wanted to add this one to my collection and I'm very happy that I did. What do you guys think about this shoe? Do you guys like this one or do you prefer the, the original um, Bruce Lee ones, the black and yellow ones? Let me know. I think this is a really gorgeous shoe. Amazing on foot. The pairs that I do wear when it comes to Kobe 5s always got tons of compliments because it's just a clean shoe. They look good on foot. I mean, not only you can play basketball on them, but they definitely just look great when you're just wearing them casual or like out and about when you're running errands or if you're going to the mall, whatever have it. Great shoe. Very happy to have this, but definitely wanted to do a sneaker profile on this shoe um, because one, I did a live on it, but also two, just to make sure it's stamped into my collection as far as uh, footage goes but let me know is this shoe in your collection do you guys plan on adding this to your collection if it's not already or is this a pass for you let me know in the comments i would definitely appreciate all the comments i definitely appreciate you guys just showing up all the time that means so much to me you guys don't you guys don't know how much that means currently we are at 122 subscribers i know we lost like one or two hopefully when this comes out which will probably be Sometime in July, you guys will be, um, you guys will be, will have more subscribers. So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully we don't lose any more. But like I said, thank you for always supporting the channel. Fellas, the ladies, thank you for coming in and enjoying um, this, this material that I drop. I drop uh, videos every single day. If it's not, if it's not a short, it's a, a profile. If it's not a profile, it's a short one or the other, but go ahead and Definitely get subscribed to me if you're not already. I'd really appreciate that. We'd love to see those subscribers go up. But also drop those comments, drop those likes. And then also we are all busy people. So hit that little reminder button and remind yourself not to forget about me. Mr. Wonderful, once again, bringing you another sneaker profiles. Sneaker profile number 51 is in the books. But as far as the profiles go for the Kobe 5s, this is number one. So we still got four more to go. Looking forward to show you those and looking forward to see you guys in the comments, but also see you on my Instagram at Floyd Chavez Jr. I would love to see you guys there. Drop a comment. Let me know you guys are subscribed or if you guys are following me on there, I would love to interact with you. Let me know about what your favorite shoes are. Let me know if I have any of those favorite shoes in your collection that I have shown to you, whether it's on the live or on those profiles. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Always looking forward to it. But you guys, until then, stay blessed. Remember, you'll probably see a short tomorrow. And then after that, we'll go into another profile. But looking forward to see you guys once again. I can't wait, can't wait to see you. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Whenever you guys are watching it, appreciate you. Stay blessed. And I'll talk to you guys later.